Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing, you guys. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a couple more Jay Leno's products. Let's do it. So before we get this video started, you guys, I do want to say that I did receive these products for free from Jay Leno's Garage. It's That makes it a sponsored video, um, but it is not a paid sponsorship, and I always like to put that out there for you guys to know. So a few weeks ago, you guys, I put a video out on some Jay Leno's products on their wheel cleaner, um, an all-purpose cleaner, and then their tire and trim uh, dressing. And if you guys want to go check that video out, I'll put a link up here somewhere if you want to go and check that video out. Uh, this week, I'm cleaning up my grandparents' truck, and I was starting to clean the leather, and I was like, well, what do I want to clean the leather with? So I tried... I tried out this right here. Didn't have the camera going or anything like that. Very happy with it. Um, worked extremely well. And I do use a dedicated leather brush that has a felt. Um, it's felt right here on the end. That's what you actually use to, to it's very gentle on leather uh, to clean the leather and just wipe it up. And I was like, oh man, that works really, really well. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the camera and get the camera rolling. Let's just take a video of using these products right here, you guys, as I was testing them. For the leather cleaner, it says that it safely cleans leather, removes dirt, dust, and stains. I do love their bottling. I like it has the picture of what you're cleaning. The other bottles also have the same thing, as you can see. This one shows the seat is halfway clean, like a 50-50, and this one just shows the seat when it's done. I do like the way that they did that on their bottles. Um, it says for light cleaning, you can spray onto a clean microfiber towel and wipe dirt from surface or for tough stains, spray area directly and allow it to penetrate and then agitate with a cloth or a soft brush, which is where this comes in handy. And I always like to agitate leather, you guys. Wipe away with a clean microfiber towel. And I can tell you that I did see dirt on the towel when I, when I wiped it up and I could see a difference. So I'm gonna put some tape down so we can kind of do a 50-50 on these seats. Now these seats are not hammered. Uh, my family takes care of their cars. Um, they're not hammered, but you can see that they are kind of glossy. You don't want gloss on leather. You want a nice dull look um, when it comes to your leather because that shows that it actually is good and clean. And then after we get done doing that, we're going to use the leather conditioner. This is just a leather conditioner, not a cleaner. Um, this is going to moisturize and protect your leather. This is what you want for your last step in the leather. Um, it says to apply a thoroughly clean surface, avoid aniline and nubuck and or suede leather. Apply it to a clean microfiber towel or applicator. We're going to apply it to an applicator. Then massage into the surface. Allow five to 10 minutes for a conditioner to absorb into the leather. And then buff to a satin finish with a clean microfiber towel. It says it leaves no grease or anything like that behind. It should just be a nice, clean look. I have not used this yet. Um, I'm very, very interested. I do it. It does smell like leather, you guys, which is very cool. I will tell you that if you get on Walmart's website, this right here is $9.97, so $10 for the cleaner. And then the leather conditioner is $12.97, so $13 for this right here, at least in the U.S., you guys. So all I can show you is cleaning one seat because I already did one seat and the whole back seat. But I'm going to show you the one seat. Uh, we'll put a tape line down and see what the 50-50 looks like and let you guys see what these products do. All right, you guys, so this is the seat that we're going to use. Um, you can notice it is glossy. That's from skin oils. We also have like paint or uh, jean transfer. As you can see, this dark line right here or pants, just a pants transfer. Um, also on the back right here, you can see it's dirty. You can actually see where it's clean right there, but not right there. So this is going to be the, the perfect seat to test it out on. Yes, it's not hammered. I get it. Um, but this is what we got. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to set the camera up. We're going to put a tape line right down here. We're going to clean one side and see if we can see the difference. All right, you guys, so I got the tape line set up. We're gonna get going and we are going to agitate. You guys, if you've seen my videos before, I do believe in putting work into something if you want good results. Um, I don't believe in just letting the chemical um, be the only thing that does it. A little bit of agitation is gonna give you better results every time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spray it on, let it dwell for just a minute. I'm gonna try to not get it on the other side if I can't help it. One thing I absolutely love about this and that I love about all products that do this is I like that this does foam up as you're agitating it. Because what that's gonna do, it's gonna encapsulate the dirt, and it's gonna lift it to the top of the foam so that when you take your rag and you wipe it, you're gonna wipe all the dirt off. I absolutely love that. So we're just gonna let it sit here for just a minute. Just like it says in the bottle. And it smells good, it has a nice clean scent um, it's not overwhelming, overbearing. It's a nice, clean scent. Okay, I'm just gonna take the felt brush. You see how it's starting to foam up? 
see it right there. Just put you guys in my hand. See how it's foaming up? Love that. I'm a firm believer that hard work pays off. Well, in detail, it's the same thing. A little bit of hard labor always pays off. I'm not putting a lot of pressure down. I'm letting the leather brush do its thing. Okay. That's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and wipe it up. Nice clean towel. You guys can see the dirt on that or not. Definitely dirt all around it. Okay, and then we're going to take a dry towel and go right over top of it. Now before even removing the tape, look at the difference in the gold, like the shininess here versus here. It's dull. My grandma's going to freak out when she sees this. <laughs> I get my clean cleaning this of cleaning cars and stuff like that from my grandma and my mom for sure. They are their houses are immaculate all the time. Look at the difference here, you guys. Huge, huge improvement on this leather with very little amount of work. Very little amount of work. Just a little bit of uh, scrubbing, and that's it. And you don't have to have that. You can use a soft bristle brush to do this also. But wow, what a transformation of the leather. That looks fantastic. Very, very good. All right, well, I'm going to finish doing this, and then we're going to do the exact same thing to the seat back. Because this is the only seat that I can show you guys, so I might as well show you everything on one seat. Okay, you guys, so I am done with the bottom. I forgot to show you. It did remove... The gene transfer right there. Look how much different the color gray these two are. This to this. Hope the camera picks that up to GoPro. So pretty crazy, right? So let me get uh, another piece of tape. Let's do another 50-50. That's fun. All right, you guys. So we have the tape lined down, as you can see right there. We're going to do this half because we saw this earlier, right? So let's just do this half. Should be good. Has a, uh, just a, you guys know me. I go on and on about smells. Very, very nice, pleasant smell to it. It's very, actually very nice. It's not overwhelming. Hopefully the camera will pick this up. Not shadow real bad, but that's brown foam because of the dirt that it's pulling off. show you there how dark that is go ahead and just wipe it down this 50 50 is not as crazy as the seat bottom but you can definitely see the difference between here and here I'm telling you guys for a product you can just go to Walmart and you can pick up for $10 and you really don't use much. I've done this whole truck, front and back seats. Fantastic results. All right, you guys, so this seat is done. We're going to move on to the conditioner, but look how nice this seat looks now. It's not dark. It's not real shiny. It's dull, just like you want leather to look. So now let's move on to the conditioner. Right here. Remember, it says to leave on for five to 10 minutes to allow it to absorb and then buff to a satin finish. I'm hoping it's not glossy. Shake it up first. I can tell you it smells like leather because I had to take this cap off, the old cap off that came on it to put this cap on. It smells just like a leather store. Doesn't really say how much to use. So we're just going to get it worked into the leather. As 
you notice there's no dirt on my applicator. So that means the leather cleaner did a great job because I have used leather cleaners in the past that when I went to apply the conditioner, my applicator was dirty. That's it guys. Very, very simple. And we're just going to leave it like that. And in five or 10 minutes, depends on how long it takes me to do the rest of them. It is 151. We'll come back and we will buff it and see what it looks like. So it is 156. So it's been five minutes, you guys. And I know it says five to 10 minutes, but I can tell you that it looks like there's nothing even there. It has actually gotten into the leather. It's absorbed it. And it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything to wipe off. Not at all, nothing. So this leather is obviously very dry. But my gosh, these seats look so different than they did when I started. Grandpa just wanted to wash and wax. He didn't know he was getting this. I mean, this seat just looks amazing, you guys. These Jay Leno products work. All right, you guys, as you guys saw right there, these products flat work, they do. Um, and the Jay Leno products that I've used in the past video, those products worked also. And I absolutely love it how readily available these products are. You guys can go to Walmart and you can purchase these for probably less than $25, depending on where you live. And you can go home and you can clean your leather just like I did on this truck right here and get the results that I just showed you. Even with just a towel, you can. Um, or you probably just need a soft bristle brush or a leather brush. This is the way to do it. And by the way, this leather brush was clean when I started the video and look how dirty that is. That's how dirty the leather was. And I didn't even realize it. When I picked the truck up last night, I thought the leather looked pretty good when I got in it and drove it home and, and then you know got done doing what I had to do on the outside of it and got to the inside and I, I cleaned the driver's seat and the other seats and I, and I compared the seats to the passenger seat and I was like, okay, I gotta get the video out video camera out because we got to make a video on these Jay Leno's leather products because they worked that good as you guys saw in the 50 50 show you guys exactly how well this cleaner works this cleaner is fantastic it does exactly what the label shows you can see this label shows a 50 50 on that seat and we did exactly that in our video very very good cleaner it doesn't smell crazy like it's got really strong chemicals or anything like that in it um, it just removes the dirt and the dust and whatever's on there uh, gene transfer it removed that um, very, very efficiently. And I just used my leather brush as I just showed you and got those results. I love that it foams because that way it keeps the dirt in the foam so that when you wipe it up, it all goes into your microfiber towel and not right back down on the seat because it's staying at the top of the foam. And I love it. I love that it foams up. This is a fantastic product. And once again, this is as of making this video, this is $10 at Walmart. The leather conditioner, I'll show you how much I used of that. Not much. I don't know if you guys can even see it with that light behind the camera or not, but about right here it was all the way to the very top um very very good i didn't really need to wipe it off to be honest with you it kind of just uh, absorbed it into the leather and i didn't really see that i was wiping anything off but i did go over all the seats anyways and you guys saw the final result the seat looked fantastic the cab smells like leather now like brand new leather which is awesome now stuff like that i have other cleaners that smell just like leather also doesn't last long a day or so but it is pleasant while you're using it um, but it says it, um, it's a moisturizing cream, clean, dry to the touch finish. Yes, absolutely. There's no gloss to it. Even though it says it finishes down to a satin, I didn't see that. There's nothing at all. Um, it just looks clean. It's not greasy. Uh, you can touch it. It's dry. Uh, this works absolutely great. Also, you guys. So these two Jay Leno products right here are two thumbs up for me for sure. Uh, both these products work exactly as they are intended to work. And that's what you want out of any detailing product that you guys buy. So I want to say thank you once again to Jay Leno's Garage for reaching out and sending me their products. I absolutely love these right here, you guys. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Maybe you were searching for Jay Leno's products because you were at Walmart or whatever store sells it. And you're like, I wonder how well these work. And hopefully this video was helpful for you. And you guys, if it was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. Go down below the video. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.